Hey everybody! So today I wanted to talk about a project that I'll be working on over the next few weeks for a friend of mine who is getting married. So tatting or bobbin lace or needle lace or Mediterranean knotted lace or knitting or crochet are all wonderful art forms to know when it comes to wedding season. And I say wedding season because let's be honest, a lot of people get married when it's warm out because it's just easier to travel. And so for us in the United States, that means uh, May, June, July, and August are kind of your peak wedding months. And as it so happens, I have a friend who's getting married in August. So I have been looking at a pattern. So this is my copy of my pattern. And it is from this book. I don't know if I can still um, get these, but if you're interested, I will definitely look for them again because this is a super cute little book um, from Sumi. Sumi is one of my favorite Japanese authors. So it's backwards, I know, but that's Sumi. Um, and I'm actually making... Let's see. I decided I would make, I marked it. Uh, the purple edging right here. So I'm gonna make this purple edging here. And I decided that I would put it on a hanky that was pre-drilled. So it already has the holes along the side. And originally I was looking at this linen hanky that's a 10 and a half by 10 and a half. Um, so it has one row of pre-drilled holes along the side. However, when I made my little test motif in the thread that I chose, and this is a hand-dyed hank from Snapdragon, but um, one, I don't think Snapdragon is still dying, but two, it's just Lizbeth. So this is Lizbeth under here. Um, it's Lizbeth in size 40, which as we know isn't necessarily my favorite thread, but I really loved the hand dye, and this seemed like the perfect way to use it uh, in a very special manner. So I measured out two yards and marked it, uh, and then I wound one yard on my shuttle and kept one yard in my hand as my ball thread. And just wanted to see how far I could get. Now clearly I still have thread left here. So that's this one right here and um, it's it's not very big so it's probably three quarters of an inch a little more than three quarters of an inch but um, there we go this is my little my little tester and this is what two yards of thread looks like tatted in the pattern that I chose so I, I wanted to do just a little bit of a test so one I could see how it looked in the colorway Two, I could see how much thread it was going to use. And three, I could compare it to my edging and see if it was going to fit. And I kind of decided that the 10 and a half was just a smidgen big. So I went back into the stash, AKA the shop, and I found this hanky, which is, I believe a 10 inch. So it's just that like half an inch smaller. Um, and I also really liked that the pre-drilled edge was just a little bit closer. And I think this is going to end up being my hanky edging of choice. Um, so I like the size of it compared to my hanky size. And I think that this is, this is what I'm going to go with. So I wanted to talk about my process a little bit, just in case you too were thinking about making a hanky for someone for wedding season. So... I started with the thread I wanted to use, the hanky I thought I would use, the pattern that I wanted to use, and I made a little test. And again, what I did was I pulled out two yards, so I just measured off, I mean it wasn't perfect, but I measured off about two yards. And this is supposed to be approximately 100 yards of thread, so that's pretty generous. Uh, and then I did all of the maths to see how many yards it would take me to go around. And it was somewhere between um, like 70 and 80, which was fine because I have 100, so it should be fine. Um, clearly I didn't use a full two yards, so I called this like one and a half yards. And uh, the motifs actually from here to here, and I did make a little mistake in this ring, but because this is my practice, I really didn't care. Um, 
because it was it was just so that I could get just enough going to see what was going to happen. But I think that this is going to look very nice with the new hanky because as I discovered, my old hanky was just a smidgen too big for the motif that I chose. So I had two options. I could either try to find a smaller hanky or I could try to find just a little bit bigger or a little bit wider edging. So anyway, this is, yay, all done now. Yay, all done. Um, and what I will do now is I'll go ahead and I will wind up my shuttle. Um, I may not use the Dreamlet that I was testing it with. I, I like the Dreamlets. They're fine. Maybe I will. Um, but I will most likely go back to the Clovers because the Clovers are my favorite. They're small. They fit my hand really well. Um, and as we all know, I have a ton of them. Um, I would really, oh, I'd really like to use my, my Clover with the hook. I don't know if I, I think I've shown you these before, but this is the Clover with the little hook end on it. And, um, I would really like to use that, but clearly I have some thread on here. So I suppose, um, I will pick, I'll pick another one. But the good news is I have quite a stash of shuttles, so I can get it out. This is not my entire shuttle stash. This is just part of my shuttle stash. Like most shuttle tatters, I have a bit of a shuttle problem. I'm sorry. I'm petting it. I shouldn't pet it. Anyway. So I will probably pick out a different one. And... Hmm. Oh, I could use... I could use a piccolo. I call it a piccolo. Some people call it piccolo. Um, I think the gentleman's name is Powell. And... Oh, whoop! And guess what? I'm so excited. Look what I found. No thread on this one. So now I have my clover with my hook. So I'll probably load up my clover with my hook and I will get started working on this edging. And um, you'll see it appear in probably a few more videos as we go um, over the next few weeks. And like I said, I am going to try to get back into making more educational videos for you and kind of share what else is going on here. Um, I do, of course, I'm looking outside now because thinking about it, have the garden, lots of stuff going on in the garden. Um, I have the, we have two little ducks. Well, now they're kind of two big ducks because ducklings grow very fast uh, and two new little chicks. Um, I did have a tragedy where one of my ducks was just dead one morning. Nothing that I could like, you know, see that was wrong. There's no reason she should have died that I know of, but she was dead. So, um, I was already in the process of trying to add one more duck to the herd, to the flock, to the flock. And so now I'm going to try to add two ducks to the flock. So we'll see what happens. Um, yeah. And, and then we're going places. So we will be at the Iowa Lie Convention uh, at the very beginning of July. We will be at Fiber U. Um, that one's in Lebanon, Missouri, in mid-July. And then we will be at uh, Palmetto Tat Days in August. Oh, let me think. And then, um, so that's August, September. And then November, November um, will be Ozark Fiber Fling again. And um, Tina, I think, is also planning on doing um, another event in there, but I've just forgotten. Um, and if I forgot your event, I'm so sorry. I'm, Ina has been sick and she <laughs> didn't sleep very well. And so I didn't sleep very well. And it has been, it's been a couple of days. Anyway, so I will see you all again soon. As I like to say, please take care of yourself mentally, physically, emotionally, and craftually. Don't forget to follow us on all the different places that we are. So Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Um, I will try to make sure that I post this quickly to YouTube so that when you're watching it, it's, hi, I made it really quick for you. Um, so that you get fun Kelly hair, no makeup, like usual. Uh, and like I said, hopefully I will get back to the educational stuff soon. Uh, I really... I don't know. What would you like to see? If you have a suggestion, feel free to leave it in the comments. Uh, it can be anything. Knitting, tatting, um, crochet, weaving, spinning, um, knotted lace. Uh, I don't know. What else What else do I do? Embroidery, Sashiko, all the fun things. I have to take my sewing machines to be repaired. So, um, well, one needs repaired, one needs serviced because one no longer wants to reverse. So I have to get that fixed. And the other one I'm just going to have cleaned and oiled uh, because I may as well just take both while I'm going. Um, so I'm hoping to get that done this week because, you know, I have some sewing I'd like to get done this summer. 
So anyway, I will see you all again. Please make sure that you like, subscribe, do all the fun things, you know, comment, wave, whatever. Um, follow us in all the places and I will see you guys next time. Bye.